love Terry here along with her fabulous co-star. Oh, wrong one. Hold on. Wait a minute. Well, what is this? This is a handy dandy little itty bitty ice chest that I did with duct tape. I'm going to go over how I made the whole thing later. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that. Come here, fabulous co-star. And also how to get uh, free, free ice for it to keep it going. Uh, what it is, is I used to love having a burrito for lunch, but I can only eat half a burrito. And I love them for like breakfast or lunch the next day. And uh, how do you keep it uh, from going bad without a refrigerator? So I'll show you how I do it and how I keep the food from uh, getting wet and everything and how I get free ice, how I used to do it. All right, Miss Lucy, did you say good morning to everybody? All right, so Big Five has a trash can. Aren't I glad I pulled into this parking lot? And you can see all the wind that we're uh, getting up here. Uh, the wind died down for approximately four days. Um, sorry, my head looks so squished. I wish I could uh, remount my mountable, but I can't. All right, hold on. All right, so we are driving down the town of Bullhead City, and I usually like wintering here. Um, it has a lot of things I like, some things it doesn't have, but you know what? Ah, they do have a Sam's Club, so if I want a piece of pizza for lunch, a slice of pizza, I can have it. Let me uh, close down all the noise. But I thought you'd like to see my morning commute and also what I'm up to. All right, so I'm working on that little portable ice chest video. And I also got my little uh, stove that I want to do a video on. But back at Quartzsite, uh, Lindsay Lindsay, I don't know if you're interested in being a vendor. I think I heard Lindsay Lindsay correct. Like she is there for almost a month. She has her own camping space. I'm sure she had uh, utilities going and everything. And she could sell at the Cellarama for um, almost a month. I think it's three weeks. And uh, how much did all that cost? $500. And it's like, oh my gosh. In Southern California, if you do one of them hoity-toity art shows for a weekend, it can be $750. So, and I, I like uh, the selling out there. You know, it's nice, it's easy, you get to walk around. You all know I love outdoor shopping. All right, so I, I'm hoping I'm giving you a good view of Bullhead City. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna winter back out here. Um, not sure. I do love it. You know, they have uh, the big box stores that I love. Like PetSmart, I love taking Lucy for a bath, but I did like doing it myself at the doggy car, doggy spa. So um, maybe next year I'll just do Quartzsite for a couple of months. I'd hate to tell my friends that because they'll get upset, but what can I do? Um, the wind is terrible. I mean, it, it blows every day. And uh, I'm sort of getting used to being out there. I'm not properly set up really for a long-term uh, long uh, quartzite, but I might go to LTVA. I think it's $160 for seven months and they have vault toilets, which everyone tells me they keep them really clean, Dixie dumpsters and a couple of other amenities. So I may do something like that. You know, all my plans are made in jello. Did I tell you the reason why we're doing a drive-in video is because number one, I want you to see where I go every day. You know, we have our committee meeting at the dog park. It's, uh, oh, it drives me nuts. Right across the river, it's 8.30, it's 9.30 here. So people get here about 9.30, 10 o'clock, and all of our dogs play for a good hour. And then once we wear them out, we get to do what we want during the day, which you know what I like making is jewelry. Um, I did have a couple of comments, you know, and another question that I wanted to answer here. Thank you for loving my jewelry, but I'm not sure. Should I show you my jewelry? Um, because, you know, I never finish my jewelry. I don't put on the fish hooks. I am thinking of doing one show in Southern California. But um, the reason, you know, people would love to buy my jewelry off the inner, inner zones is, but um, I'm not set up. It, well, I don't have the time. Um, I'm so busy all day long having fun that, uh, and I, I make enough money, so I'm pretty happy. Um, you know, thank you. Um, if I do sell jewelry, I'll let everyone know. But, um, you know, last night, I think uh, I played with my toys until 9.30 at night, and uh, that was it. Um, at 10 o'clock, I go to bed. And I did, I did I even gamble at the casino last night? No, I didn't even have time for that. Oh my God. So if I don't have time to gamble in a casino, I don't have time to make money. Oh my gosh. Now then, 
we're getting to my turn and I always know it's my turn. This is one town that I like because um, it's a one trick pony. Everything's on the main street except for Joanne sits on the behind it, uh, behind this main boulevard. I think I'm you know, South 95. So I drive north to south every morning. Usually I have breakfast cooking in my Hot Logic Mini, but I wanted to stop at the Dollar Tree and breakfast was done, so I ate it over there. And normally during my breakfast break is when I brush my teeth, take my vitamins, take my medication. I do everything all at once. And, uh, oh, did I mention Bullhead City has a Dollar Tree? So this little town has a lot of wonderful things to do. And normally I camp at the casinos, but I know people that just camp over at the Home Depot. They don't care. The Walmart does care. You know, they have signs up that says, we will tell you. And I've never tried to camp there. Um, I don't mind the drive in the morning. It takes me like 15, 20 minutes. And, uh, you know, uh, I get my breakfast hot when, you know, I get there. So that's pretty good. Um, I hope everything's charging up. Yes, I do. All right, so I just turned down where it says fast trip and I drive down here and I can't miss it. And uh, isn't it beautiful, the scenery out here? Uh, yes, it is. I just love the Southwest. So I am thinking about next year just doing more of Quartzsite. Um, and I think it's $150, $180 for seven months. So that's not bad. Uh, like I said, um, I don't like the hassle of, uh, you know, most people when they camp out there um, on BLM land, they're probably saying, Terry, why, why? Well, you know, how many days can you uh, really sit out there and, okay, guys are different and I don't know if you poop in the desert. I don't know these things. Um, I'm a city camper. Um, but, you know, it's like after a couple of days, you know, you can only store so much of your waste you know, and then, you know, you peel bananas, that stinks, or you have shrimp, or, you know, and it's like, you always have to drive to town to get rid of your trash. So, by the, being at the LTVA, they have trash right there. I know, I'm not, I'm not good at BLM camping. Now, if I spend some more time with Bob or someone to show me how they do it, show me the ropes, right? But, um, I am happy that they have it available. Like I said, I park, uh, about 30 minutes away. Uh, Telephone Cove is really nice BLM property. You can stay seven days for free, but they have vault toilets and they have um, they have dumpsters. And that's my two essentials. That's what I need every morning is the toilet. I know I have my own toilet, but what do you do with the waste, you know, once it accumulates all day long? And I met one of the women and she's like, I'm so happy over here. I can just whiz wherever I want. And I'm like, I don't whiz wherever I want. I'm too... Uh, gentrified oh so i have a lot of really good videos coming up and uh let's talk a little bit about stealth camping uh, i am wearing my red shirt but uh i'm not sure if you see my uh audrey hepburn it's a nice little blue vest with a, a fur lined blue collar and everything you know when i'm staying at the casinos i go into uh the casino usually i gamble but um, I look the part. So no one thinks I'm homeless and looking the part is very important. You always want to blend into your natural surroundings. Um, if I need to, I put on makeup, you know, wherever it is. You know, I have one uh, set of fancy clothes. Uh, that's it. And, uh, you know, I always want to look the part. Here we go. Here's the turn. All right. So we're a little late this morning, but I can see my friend's not here. So I'm gonna pull in and then, well, let's go over here. This is so, this park is huge. Um, this is called Rotary Park and uh, look at this. And we walk along the Colorado River right over there. I'm gonna take you guys for a field trip. Who wants to go for a field trip? Why is this fool stopping on the driveway? Okay, there we go. So I like Rotary Park. Uh, the bathrooms are wonderful. They always have the little plastic waxy up oh, the dead end. I was trying to show you the marina, but they are paving and everything. So we're gonna get out of here. And they have Dixie dumpsters. That's one of the things I don't like about uh, Quartzsite is they, we have Dixie dumpsters everywhere out here. And uh, they're hard to find in Quartzsite. And I like putting my trash in a Dixie dumpster. I don't like using a trash can. You know, because when you're in the van all day, you accumulate a lot of trash. So uh, we're going to park over here and then we're going to walk to the dog park and I'll show you around. But um, this has a, at Rotary Park, Frisbee Golf, which people love. And uh, I see two of my other van lifers are here. Um, yeah. We won't bother them though. 
Now they have this these little cards. I think they're getting ready to uh, paint the stall. They're the little white things that are all popped up. So they're going to paint it, but we don't know when. There's my son. Uh, I may try to hook it up so I can get some solar for my little battery. I'm going to check it out and we're going to park. Okay, as I'm parking, you can see they have a nice playground for the kitties. Did it! Can you see how the wind's doing me? Oh my God, I can't get my door shut. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to edit this video and I'm going to do another video about a Bullhead City, all right? And we'll include the dog park. All right, bye from Monterey and Miss Lucy.